Hey guys, happy Flat Earth Day. Uh, I just want to say it's great to know the truth about our home and no longer be deceived. As you can tell from my old earring collection, I used to be a bala and I used to believe we lived on this spinning toy globe. Um, why? Because ever since I was a baby, um, I was shown this model and just told that's where I live and I said okay. Um, they didn't give us a chance to even question it. That was just established fact and that's probably why I get so much pushback when I dare to question whether or not Freemasons, Luciferians, Jesuits, uh, and Nazis have told us the truth about our reality. Um, you know, my blog and my Facebook page is called Simply Seeking Truth. And that's what I've been doing. And just since this past December, I dared to delve into the crazy world of flat earth theory. I finally felt like, as a truth seeker, I can no longer ignore this growing topic. And I just decided to pray and look into it. And essentially, that's what I did. And of course, the most important thing was to test it against the scriptures. And I did. And I can tell you right now that this heliocentric globe model is not in scripture and it was actually given to us um, to implement a Luciferian paradigm uh, to deceive us with many things for the last days and so when people tell me that I am distracted and I should never talk about this topic because I'm not focusing on the Great Commission I just have to tell you this does affect souls this does deceive people um, if people knew the truth about our home and our reality and the awesome uh, creation that God um, has made and is outlined clearly in scripture, then there would be no atheists. Because um, when I say flat earth, by the way, I don't mean that the earth is literally flat. Like, it's not flat like this or anything like that. Um, it's definitely still 3D, awesome, amazing, way more awesome than we've been told. Um, it's more like a snow globe type situation. Um, the Word of God tells us, though, that the our Earth is not moving. It's established firmly on, you know, pillars, and it has bounds, which is actually Antarctica is a 360 degree ice wall. You can look this up; it's pretty awesome, and hence why the Antarctica Treaty is put into place. Uh, people aren't just allowed to go there and explore or use resources from there because, you know, it's the edge. They're hiding it. Um, and if you don't believe me, you can look up Operation High Jump and Operation Fishbowl, and you can see more of what I'm talking about. Um, and then as far as just why I'm doing another video about Flat Earth, which, like I said, some people are probably just going crazy now, I just want to say I'm putting the words Flat Earth in the title of the video. So if you're not interested in this topic, you don't have to click it. You know what I mean? Um, that's the beauty of Facebook, of the body of Christ, about various gifts and roles and passions and stuff. Like, I'm not into politics anymore. I used to be super libertarian girl. Um, uh, even before that, I was a straight ticket Republican. Can you believe it? Yes, a long time ago. I even voted uh, for George Bush once upon a time. Can you believe it? Okay, so there's hope for everyone. Um, and so I just have to say, though, that truth is something I seek without an agenda and it's something I like to share about especially if it's relevant okay I'm not just trying to debate the shape of the earth over and over again I have to keep telling people that because I get messages almost every day from people trying to tell me um, that I am distracted and that this isn't relevant and that yesterday I was asked if I was even saved and essentially told that I wasn't and that I was uh, satanic I've also been called an antichrist for this. Now, let's just stop and ask ourselves, why are people getting so mad about me rejecting something given to me by lying Luciferians and Nazis that started NASA, and I'm literally just opening the Word of God and asking Father to show me the truth about our home and our reality and why this might matter, okay? Why are people getting so mad unless there is truth to it? Because if I see people talking about they think that the earth is hollow or concave or whatever they say. I am not going to freak out 
and go ballistic and punch a hole in the wall and tell them that they're antichrist and they need to repent and they're an idiot and they're making Christians look bad. I just wouldn't do that. You know why? Because number one, we don't have to worry about what people are doing um, in the name of Christ. Obviously, we know that hi- the Christianity has been hijacked tremendously. Okay, that's just a done deal. And that's why we're, we're called in scripture to come away. Come away from the false system. Out of the, the mother harlot, uh, mystery Babylon religion. Um, because a lot of this church system is rooted in paganism since early Christianity was infiltrated and hijacked so early on by the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go into that. But that is one of the, t- the subjects and topics that I was more um, involved in exposing and researching before I came to this one. And so... I'm probably not going to always talk about Flat Earth all the time, so calm down, chill out. Like, I only talk about things that I feel are relevant and important, and I want to be led by God to do that. And I also believe that God gives us different people to reach. The same people you're called to reach, maybe it's motorcycle people or, you know, crunchy moms in the natural world. Who knows? But... God has given me a different people to reach. He's always given me uh, like New Agers, um, atheists, truth seekers, the conspiracy crowd. And now with this growing flat earth movement, if there's not people, you know, like me and many others uh, that do believe in Christ in the Bible, if we're not there to kind of show them, hey, this, this lines up with scripture. Hello, hello, hello. Read the Bible. See what it says. Well, guess what? Then all the gatekeepers of the movement or all the New Ager people are going to funnel them in and set them up to worship the wrong God. And so before you start just freaking out on people, just stop and trust God, you know? I mean, it's really ridiculous the amount of flack I get when I'm not even doing anything that goes against Scripture. I've said it over and over. If I'm in sin and you can rebuke me with Scripture, please do so. I will be wiser for it. Thank you. I don't want to be in sin. I've been in sin many times in my life. I'm thankful for all the friends who openly rebuked me because it's better than secret love and allowing me to just, you know, go down this dark path that I might think is right, but its end is the way of death. But regarding this, this is not leading to death. This is not darkness. It's unlike other conspiracy theories like 9-11 and Sandy Hook where you're like, ooh, the government, this is scary. This is actually a beautiful truth that they've hid on purpose to hide God and to deceive us with many things such as Big Bang, atheism, materialism, alien agenda deception, all those things. And many people reject God because they truly believe we live on a spinning ball in endless outer space circling around a sun and in an infinite universe, you know, um, that's just not true. We can't even go into deep outer space. There is no such thing. There's inner space, and then there's the dome firmament, and then there's God. We are his footstool. We are the apple of his eye. Um, You know, science tries to say that they can't get past the Van Allen radiation belts. Well, that's just a scientific term for the firmament, which the Bible describes that um, he sits above. And it says in Isaiah, he sits above the circle of the earth. And the Hebrew word for circle is chug, which means a flat circle, like a coin or a compass. And he actually used another Hebrew word for ball or sphere in an earlier passage, intentionally avoiding it when describing our home. So that's something interesting. Because that's one of the main scriptures that um, globe believers um, use to attack me and others and defend literally what they've been given by Jesuit Freemason 500 years ago. So we just have to be careful about what we defend and attack our brothers and sisters over because it's really sad when a Christian uh, attacks someone like me or someone like you who's listening because it happens to all of us. And it's just amazing. And you can tell that the spirit behind uh, these people attacking us is not of the Holy One. It's a wicked spirit and it acts the same exact way Um, In all these different people, I recognize it immediately. I believe it's a spirit of Leviathan or pride. Um, Their ego cannot even handle having a dialogue. Can't even handle just asking questions for clarification, basic understanding. It it can't. They freak out. They start attacking. You can see the hatred and the anger going crazy. And it's like, calm down. Hey, just watch this five-minute video, bro. You know, say a prayer. And they're just like, absolutely not, you Satan worshiper. You freak. You 
idiot. And it's just like, wow. At that point, I just say, you know what? You need to humble yourself. You need to go to God and you need to go to the word of God, most importantly. And what you're doing right now is a folly and a shame unto you, according to scripture. We are told in the word of God to test all things. And that includes everything, especially things given to us by a Luciferian paradigm, such as we are living in space amongst trains of other galaxies. When the word of God does not say anything of the sort, our eyes and experience see flat as far as the eye can see. You know, it doesn't matter how high we go up, the horizon rises to eye level. Okay, and simple math debunks curvature really fast. And I don't even care about, like I said, debating the shape of the earth. I don't care. It's not about the shape of the earth. It's about finding out what scripture says and defending his very word and encouraging people to wake up to this truth so that the people in power who have an agenda to deceive, enslave, and kill us cannot pull a fast one over you in the end times, especially since Second Thessalonians 2 says a great deception, a grand illusion is coming for those who believed a lie and didn't love the truth. And so why would it warn us that even the elect, if it were possible, could be deceived unless a huge deception was coming? And what's more deceiving than being told we live on something we don't in a manner in which is not even existing except in the figment of our imagination? I mean, that's really wicked for them to do that. And um, just for instance, like, According to modern science, it says that we are, you know, living on this globe, uh, circling around the sun, and uh, which is in direct contrast to the Word of God, which says that the sun and moon each have their own light source and are placed inside the firmament, like I said, and that the earth is not spinning. So all, already we have a problem, okay? But not even mentioning the scriptures, think about this. Is this a coincidence, or is this hiding their wicked intent in plain sight? Okay, it says... The earth revolves around the sun at 66,600 miles per hour. So there we got 666. And if that was the only little 666, I'd say, okay, whatever. But it's not. The curvature at one square mile is 0.666 feet. And the earth tilts at 66.6 degrees. Coincidence or Masonic science? Okay, that's why I reject all this pseudo science that is based on all these theories and formulas like gravity, which says that literally, um, well, number one, they say Antarctica is right here. Have you ever looked at the official NASA photograph of Antarctica on the globe? It's so laughable. It is so fake. Okay. It also says that all this water is just being held on to the bottom of a spinning ball. Really, guys? No way. Do you really believe that gravity is holding all this water to a curved ball? Which, number one, water is never curved. Never, never, never. Water always finds its level. Okay, and number two, why would gravity be so strong to hold water upside down to a spinning ball, but yet a bird can fly above it and we can dip our toes in or swim? doesn't make sense. Gravity is a hoax, guys. That's another one. Um, really what it is, is it's about density. Look into that subject if you want. Um, but that's not the point. Again, I'm not trying to like totally sway anyone over, um, you know, the reason I'm putting flat earth in the video title is so that if you are interested in this topic, you don't have to click the video or watch it. Um, it's something that I have recently learned. And when you learn something new, and something as major and as exciting as this, which is like a biblical truth come to life, because it's like, oh, wait, I'm not going to trust the authorities. I'm only going to trust the authority of the Word of God. It's really exciting. And it's, like I said, it's a soothing feeling. It's not a scary feeling like other conspiracies. You know, the only conspiracy part of this is that they're trying to hide God and cause people to believe a lie. You know, they're setting people up for fake alien disclosure. By the way, aliens are interdimensional and demonic. They're not extraterrestrial. They're not going to be our friends or teach us how to evolve into higher consciousness or escape death. They are very, very demonic, and you need to know that. And um, you also need to know that your government is occultic in nature, and they aren't looking out for our best interest. The Word of God tells us in the last days that there would be a one-world government, one world religion and a one world cashless currency uh, implementing a mark in your right hand or in your head in order to buy or sell. 
And so in order for all these things to happen, there's going to have to be some chaos. There's going to have to be some kind of systematic collapse of the dollar, which would in turn uh, cause more systematic collapses around the world. And there would have to be a lot of chaos for people to want this or embrace this new world order solution. And so that's why I do believe it's important to know these truths because the word of God tells us, do not be ignorant of Satan's devices. And it also tells us, in Ephesians 5.11, um, to expose the unfruitful deeds of darkness. Our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against spirits and wickedness in high places. Okay, that's really important for us to know. I don't care about debating the shape of the earth with other Christians who cannot handle another Christian taking the word of God literally and rejecting what Freemasons have introduced to us. That's something that you have to deal with on your own. If you can't handle me being interested in this and using um, this topic to show God's beautiful creation and get people, atheists, truth seekers, conspiracy theorists, flat earth, curious types who don't believe in God, to get into the Bible, then I don't know what to tell you because I see atheists left and right who are coming into this topic, who are seeing that NASA um, is fake. And they're saying, what does this mean for me? Science was my religion, you know? And so, fortunately, people who look into this topic can find other Christians, you know, who are saying, hey, like I said, look at what the Bible says. And also look at what the Bible says in Revelation about this one world conspiracy that is not a conspiracy anymore. They've come out with it. They're open about their plans. Um, presidents, bakers, they all say that, no, they need a one world government. This is not... Some conspiracy, even uh, George Bush Sr. on 9-11, 1990, announced his plans for a new world order exactly 11 years before their 9-11 false flag attack. And he said, and when we're successful, and we will be, like he threw that in there. Google it. Look it up on YouTube. Okay, so if anyone is still thinking that I'm a conspiracy theorist, when I say that these things are coming to pass and that they're going to happen then like you have to go take that up in your own time with God and do some research. My job is not to do the thinking for you. I don't want you to think like me. That's not my goal, okay? My goal is to seek and share truth while it's still legal and proclaim the truth of the coming kingdom, that this world is not our home. It is a satanic matrix, and we're about to go through some tribulation. But take heart, beloved, because this is all the hell that we will ever have to endure. It's like birth pangs. It's painful, but in the end, it's going to give birth to something beautiful. And so we are a chosen generation that is about to witness the greatest thing since the cross, the ultimate destruction of evil. For a short time, these momentary and light afflictions, they're nothing compared to what God is revealing and how much he is going to be glorified. And just go read Revelation uh, chapter 20, verse 4 for what we are given in exchange for laying our life down for the truth and for resisting the coming one world beast system that we are not going to take the mark of the beast in order to preserve our flesh or buy and sell food no we will trust god just like the israelites in the wilderness but unlike them we are not going to crane our neck to egypt and ask god to take us back to our slave days because we Unlike the Israelites, we might not have seen his miracles in such a tangible form, but we have the completed word of God, and we have the witness of many saints right now who are all being wakened up at the same time. I think it's a supernatural work that God is showing us, those who have um, eyes to see, ears to hear, that we just want the truth. We want to be humble. We want to stay teachable. And number one, we want to test every thing against the word of God. Well, I think it's amazing that God is waking us up all at the same time and he's uniting us together. To me, that's not a coincidence. It's a supernatural work. And we are part of the awakened remnant of modern day Babylon. And it's a beautiful thing. And so it's not so much about the shape of the earth. It is about something much more beautiful. It's about rejecting the whole entire world system. Everything that these liars have told us is true. We question it. And then we go back to the word of God and we say that's that's the truth right there. And so with that being said, I want to welcome anyone to this awesome truth. It is life changing. It is beautiful. It's soothing and it makes you feel so close and intimate with creator and the creation. And it's just highly misunderstood. And believe me, I've been there. When I heard the words flat earth, I immediately wanted to message my friend who was talking about it and just say, seriously, seriously, 
But fortunately, I knew not to open my mouth because I didn't know enough about it. And I will say, even before I, I heard about Flat Earth, I did question um, this whole planet Earth thing because I knew the people in power, you know, were liars and worshipped Lucifer. And so I just remember thinking, like, I only believe that I live on this globe because they showed me a picture. And I just, like, said, okay, that's my home. But if you really look at pictures of Earth, and I dare you to do this, just Google pictures of Earth over the years, they're all fake. And none of them look alike. And so it's 2016, and apparently we have all these satellites and all this technology that can travel through space and measure trillions of light years and all this nonsense but we still don't have one video in HD that shows us our earth spinning if it really is we don't have one real picture of earth it's all fake and CGI and NASA admits this so what does that say guys you know it, it doesn't look good so what I say is stop resisting the truth put your ego aside because yeah it's hard to admit we've been deceived and brainwashed on such a deep level but go to God before you start hating on people who are, you know, questioning the norm and going against popular opinion, which is already hard enough. It's not easy for me to just come out here and talk about this topic. You know, people think that I just get off to it. I'm like, yeah, this is so fun. I can't wait for people to think I'm crazier today. No, okay? It's not easy. So as someone, you know, who is part of this truth movement, um, I just ask you to have a little bit more respect for people, you know, who dare to question things and to look, you know, beyond the illusion of this shadow government, you know, because they're the ones that are pulling the strings and they're pulling it because they're trying to set the world up to welcome and worship the Antichrist, okay? So it is a big deal and it does affect souls. So just cut it out with the attacks and questioning people's salvation because the beautiful thing about the truth is that Jesus said, you will know them by their fruit. So it doesn't matter what you believe. If your fruit's rotten, it's rotten. So please just take this to God, everything I'm saying, and just be a little bit more respectful and loving to your brothers and sisters who do question the globe. Happy Flat Earth Day.